update. Am I the a-hole for not inviting my brother and our family barbecue cookout because of my daughter? Original post. So our family has this big barbecue cookout once every two months. People take turn in whose house is it going to be next. This time it is in our house. These events are really big in our family, almost like a festival. So everyone closer to us will come. Recently, my daughter, who is 13 years old, seemed really upset and tried to make it postpone or just to avoid it. Which is odd, because she loves these family cookouts. She wouldn't tell me the reason, until she finally did. She said she's not comfortable with her uncle Frank, my brother. I ask her why she thinks like that, and she says she gives her weird vibes. Some things she does that really makes her uncomfortable, hugging her tight, holding her waist gently, always gives him excuses to be near her. She claims she caught him looking at her chest. He also makes comments like, you are going to be a heartbreaker. You are turning into a really beautiful woman. You are mature for your age. Last good count, he asked her if she has kissed anyone. When she was shy, he told her, don't worry, I won't tell anyone. It will be our secret. I asked her would she be comfortable if we do not invite him, and she agreed to that. I did just that. I only invited my mom, my dad, my younger brother, and my sister. Frank knew that I didn't invite him, I just said what my daughter told me. Frank took it as an offense and said my daughter is lying. In fact, she was the one who always comes on to him. I told him I cannot have him around her. I'm sorry, but I have to respect my daughter's boundaries. The whole family is divided, but most of them took Frank's side. They think my daughter is just lying for attention. I can tell she's not lying, because I heard her crying because she thinks her family hates her. I told her that is not a case, and not to blame herself. My other brother has said since Frank hasn't done anything, it would be unfair to uninvite him, because what he said was just words, not like he meant it. And just tell my daughter to stay away from him if it makes her uncomfortable. The only person on my side is my wife. She's sure Frank is showcasing predator behavior towards our daughter. She was groomed when she was a teenager and says this is exactly how it starts. I don't know, I do want my daughter to feel safe. Frank has never shown any type of predator behavior. In fact, I heard him say a lot of times that pedo should be sentenced to death. He is overprotective of his own daughter. But on the other hand, I cannot ignore my daughter's feelings. Did I do something wrong here? Now for the top comments before reading the update. Your 13-year-old came on to me is about the biggest freaking red flag in the world. You are being good parents. And if your family takes a side, they deserve to be cut off. Not the a-hole. Who the heck could actually utter that phrase anyway? A predator. No one else has ever said a kid was hitting on them in defense of smarmy comments. Plus, with the penalty of being accused of being a predator, why would you risk it and argue for continued invites? If nothing really happened, he'd say, WTF. I'm going to stay away from your house until you get to the bottom of that, because I'm not down for being labeled a pervert and going to jail. I really think you should seek counseling for your daughter, as those are serious accusations. You'd never say, but, but, she came on to me first. Yep, even if it was that the daughter was saying things that were considered a come on or following him around at these barbecues, which she absolutely did not, any non-creep wouldn't face it like that. If he wasn't a creep, he would have gone to Opie and raised concerns, because 13-year-olds coming onto their uncles would be a signifier of something else going on. If a 13-year-old was hitting on an adult, again, I don't believe this is true, something needs to be done to address what's going on. I honestly can't believe he said that she's coming onto him, and the rest of the family says she's making this up for attention. Like, we have two people. One of them said he's been saying creepy things and being creepily physical with her, and his response is, she's coming on to me. So we have two people who are both saying something is going on, and OP's family are saying she's making this up? Your wife is right. This is how it starts. And people like your family are the reason it continues to happen. I applaud you for having your daughters back on this, because I didn't have anyone. My mother didn't believe me, and I grew up feeling alone and powerless. Not the a-hole and keep your boundaries. Uncle Frank is definitely a predator. So sorry this happened to you. I never in my life thought Frank would do something like that. I wish this is just a bad dream, but it is not, and I want to protect my family. Even if it's for my own family. My major red flag is him saying that she was coming onto him. That is just gross. All he had to say was that never happened or I did not mean to come across that way. As a woman who was well-developed at 12, that type of accusation usually implies that he was being inappropriate. Please protect her. That part got me too. 
He admitted there that he doesn't view the interactions as innocent. He's just blaming her for his own behavior. Classic groomer got caught behavior. It's gross. And Opie needs to keep his daughter far away. Now for the update. This isn't much of an update to my last post, but there was a big fight. I can't tell all the details, but I can say one thing is clear that my brother, Frankie, will not be near my daughter. My daughter is very upset because of the fight. Some people are still calling her a liar and an attention seeker, but I can see how it is affecting her mental health. So, I decided to cancel the cookout. Instead, we, me, my wife, my son, and my daughter, will go to a Korean barbecue instead. Hope this can cheer her up. I will give a full update about the whole thing later on. Take care. As a woman, I can tell you those creepy men who hold us too long and too tight, who ask us about if we have kissed boys, or say we can tell them it will be our secret, they destroy our sense of safety. Especially within a family. You did great. Thank you. Had a similar issue with Hansi uncle. I'm Korean, so we have even more strict rules on respecting older people in the clan. The cousin who was targeting with his affectionate eye hatched a plan where I would hug, kiss, and touch her in the same manner the uncle would. When some of the aunties and my grandma expressed discomfort, my afflicted cousin asked, then why is it okay for this disgusting uncle to touch me like that every time he sees me? The uncle reacted the same way your brother did, by accusing her of being flirty. Grandma instantly woke up from her delusions. To this day, we have not seen or heard from said uncle. And all my grandma would say is it's taken care of, and that we won't be harassed by him. I do not think he's dead, but it's been nine years, so I don't know. But anyways, it takes some overtly gross stuff to get the keep the peace family to finally get on your side. Until you frame it as a way for their possible harm and visualize it, they'll always opt to keep the peace. You and your cousin are very smart, clever and wise. I'm so glad your grandma understood your message. Now for the second update. Okay, it has been a hectic few days for us. Yes, I did take my daughter out for a Korean barbecue. She enjoyed it. Might have got a little sick because she thinks she can handle spice, but happy nonetheless. Well, the talk with my family didn't go so well. They were all defending my brother. They all think either my daughter was lying or trying to frame Frank because she was at that age of being a rebellious teenager. I don't see the point of where she had to lie. She had no bad blood with my brother. She would always say Frank was her favorite uncle. She has no reason to lie. So, I didn't listen to them. I canceled the cookout and told them anyone who will call my daughter a liar or a bad name will never be invited to our lives. I said this especially to my parents. They believed me but still tried to defend my brother. Lastly, I talked to Frank in public, and he denied everything. He was insistent on my daughter being a liar and that she admitted to having a crush on him. I do not believe that. I told him to not come to our house, and if he wants to meet or talk to me, we will go in a public place but he is never to be seen around my daughter. My younger brother has been quiet because his fiancée berated him for taking Frank's side. You see, she works with an NGO that helps women who are suffering abuse and assault. She came to our house and had a little chat and explained things to my daughter that this is not her fault. I am glad my brother picked right. My daughter has been sad. She loved cookouts and barbecues, and now we might never attend because Frank might be there. She cries and thinks this is her fault, she even said she will apologize to Frank and take back what she said, just be done with it, because she doesn't want people to think she is a bad person. It honestly made me sad that she thinks like that. It is not her fault, she shouldn't apologize for something like that. She is still very much disappointed, and we will arrange a therapy for her. I don't want to lose my cheerful daughter over this. Frank's girlfriend did call me to curse us out by the way, and she is blocked. That's it, I'm going to focus on my family from now on. I don't need people to blame my daughter instead of the culprit in my life. You are a great parent. Your family suck, however. I'm glad you're taking your daughter to therapy and working on her self-esteem. Frank sadly will trip up in the future, but it won't be with your daughter, and that's all you can control. Once he is caught and outed, remain no contact with his defenders, even if they try to apologize. They really, really suck. I know it's difficult, but continue supporting your child even if that means going no contact with a few family members. Your brother is lying. It is so hard for a kid to report abuse. Have you ever heard an abuser or offender admit it? Yeah, me neither. I was. I went and told when I was 14 and no one believed me either. Until other people told. I'm what therapists call the truth teller in the family. Support your child. Also, therapy is necessary for recovery and validation. 
Make sure you tell her you're sorry this happened and you will protect her from him. Why would a child lie? Also, on a rare occasion they do, there is a history of behavior that is indicative of lying. Good for you for supporting your child. She will remember that you did. They never admit it. My 14-year-old daughter was the victim too. She got out and immediately called the police and her dad and I. She woke the whole house up. Best friend's 22-year-old loser adult brother we didn't know had moved home, and his parents and siblings caught him trying to cover evidence. She went to the hospitals, did swabs, got DNA and everything, and his approach is still, it didn't happen, she's a liar. There are two more victims of his who've now come forward since, and he's still crying he's the victim of a conspiracy. Thankfully, from behind bars while awaiting criminal trial. This sounds like my ex-brother-in-law. We booted him out of our life, and he got his first felony conviction over what he did to one of our nieces. He was allowed to plead to a lesser offense. His family rallied around him and convinced the mom of his next victim, his next girlfriend, that we were full of it and just out to get him. A giant conspiracy. We went directly to her to warn her as she had two teen daughters. He ended up violating one of the two and serving five years in prison for it. Good on you for believing your daughter and screw all of the people that offense these predators. The fact he's saying she was hitting on him? He's a grown adult. Why didn't he bring this up to you? Also, maybe to catch him out, ask how was she, a child, was hitting on him. It would probably show how much of a creep he actually is, and it might be very telling. Last story. Would I be the a-hole if I exposed my sister's affair with her boss to his wife, who is undergoing IVF? This is a moral dilemma, and I'm turning to the internet and this community for advice. I'm at a loss in what to do. My sister and I, both 32, have been no contact for about a year. Part of the reason for this, and my part at least, is her incredibly questionable morality. I'm not a judgmental or puritanical person at all, but I do have a moral compass and have been increasingly bothered by her actions that are clearly harmful to others. She works a highly paid job for a large company in our capital city, and she's sleeping with her boss. Okay, she's lonely and I know she very much wants a loving relationship. Except that aside from being her superior at work, this guy's married. He claims that his wife has mental health issues, and because of this, isn't being a good wife to him. Their other major relationship issue was that he desperately wanted children, but she was on offense, and they couldn't conceive without help. So on his insistence, she's undergoing IVF, while he's sleeping with my sister, his employee. To be clear, I don't know them. I've never met either the man or his wife, but I feel so awful knowing about this and not doing anything even though arguably I owe them nothing or maybe even owe loyalty to my sister. Her job would be at risk if this came out. But I have been through pregnancy and have experienced poor mental health. I guess I just empathize so badly with this woman even though I don't know her. So, I googled the company my sister works for and try to figure out who the guy was. But he has a very common first name. I didn't know his last name, so I couldn't figure out who he was. My mom visited recently. She's still in contact with my sister and knows the whole situation. When I told her I looked the guy up, she immediately told me his last name and his wife's first name. She told me that what I do with the information is up to me, but the implication was that she also thought the wife should know. So now I'm pretty sure I've found both the guy and his wife online. What do I do? I really want to let her know what I know, but would you want to know? She might be pregnant already. Would it be better to just let it go? Plus, I'm pretty sure that if I did anything, my sister would figure it out, and it would be the final nail in the coffin of our relationship. I'm not sure if I care about that. If you were in the wife's shoes, what would you want? Now for the top comments. I personally would want to know before I got pregnant. If they weren't trying for a baby, I would say stay out of it. But this is a special circumstance. Maybe you can have someone else tell her anonymously so it doesn't land on you. This though, IVF is a freaking nightmare, and this woman didn't even want to have children. So not only is he emotionally blackmailing her into the hellish medical experience that is IVF for a pregnancy that she doesn't even want, he's freaking cheating on her while doing it. OP literally has the chance to save this woman from an unwanted pregnancy at a lifetime of being tied to a horrible man because they have a child together. This, over and over, tell the poor woman. She didn't really want to have children, and she's now being put into a position of likely becoming a single mom with a child she wasn't even sure of to begin with. Tell her, I can't even describe how much you should inform her like yesterday. Your sister is awful, and the dude even more so. 
I want no contact with my sister-in-law because she thinks sleeping with married men is acceptable. Because she isn't the one who is married, it is not her problem. I thought Opie was going to say her mom is trying to protect her sister. But the fact her mom gave Opie the info needed, with the understanding she can use it, tells me the mom also knows how wrong this is. I would put money on a husband growing distant during the pregnancy and eventually leaving the wife to raise the child on her own. OP, you are not the a-hole, and I hope you can save the woman from additional pain of IVF treatment and an unwanted pregnancy. All these people saying you're the a-hole would absolutely want to know if it were them. Don't listen to them. The wife should know if she's about to raise a baby he wanted by herself. Just make sure you have the right guy. Sounds like your mom has the right guy. That's exactly the point. They're cut from the same cloth and only care about themselves. Not the a-hole. Every single human being deserves to know if their consent is being violated, and your partner is sleeping with someone else without your knowledge or consent, and potentially exposing you to STIs as a result, is 100% a huge consent violation. She has a right to know that her husband is doing her dirty, and if you're the only one who's willing or able to tell her, then I say freaking do it. Cheaters deserve to have their world burned down around them, and the partners they cheat on deserve to know the truth about the scummy people who are taking advantage of them. Especially in this case, where he's basically emotionally blackmailing her into a barrage of hellish medical treatments in order to conceive a pregnancy she doesn't even want. You can save her from an unwanted pregnancy and a lifetime of being shackled to a scumbag because 